Good morning, you guys. What is going on? Riley here. Today, we have a pretty special video. Today, we are actually going over to the local Dodge dealership to check out the car that I ordered, I guess it was almost two and a half months ago. Actually, almost three months ago. Obviously, you can see what it is by the thumbnail, but I don't want to spoil too many surprises if you don't really know what it is. So we're about to head over there now. I'm about to start my 20 minute journey and you guys can check out this quick little insert from today's video sponsor. From showering to brushing your teeth and yes, shaving, everybody has their grooming routines. Like me, I like to shower and shave right before bed so I go to bed feeling fresh. But no matter your routine, Dollar Shave Club has everything that you need to look, feel, and smell your best. Shower products, oral care products, hair products, skincare products. Oh, crap, where's the other one? And even butt wipes. And obviously, shaving products. Uh -oh. Basically, if you've got a body, they've got you covered. Let's check it out. So right now, Dollar Shave Club is offering their shave, shower, and oral care starter sets for just five bucks each. So they sent me their shave starter set and their oral starter set, which comes with a bunch of goodies. So for the shave starter set, we've got the Dr. Carver's Shave Butter, goes on clear, makes it super easy to shave. And of course, we have their executive razor and their razor cartridges, six blades. These things are nice and smooth. And then for their oral starter set, we got some peppermint kick toothpaste, which gives you a kick of peppermint, and then of course, a toothbrush. You got black and silver, can't go wrong there. The Dollar Shave Club automatically keeps you stocked up on all of the products you'll need so you don't run out and you get to choose how frequently you receive them. Everybody knows finding out that you're out of toothpaste is one of the worst feelings in life. But the best part is, the more you buy, the more you save. They call it their handsome discount. Clearly they didn't get the name from me. Join the club with one of their starter sets for just five bucks, and after that, the restock boxes ship regular sized products at regular prices. This exclusive offer is found at dollarshaveclub.com slash RP. That's dollarshaveclub.com slash RP. Check them out, guys. All right, you guys. Here we are. Going in to enemy territory. Auto Nation Dodge Jeep Chrysler and Ram in Spring, Texas. Well, let's go find it. Oh shoot, well, there it is. I guess that was kind of anticlimactic. Make one turn and there she is. <laughs> oh man. Well, there they are next to each other. The 2018 Mustang and the 2019 Scat Pack. Just so you guys can get a little size comparison going to start this video off. But we're gonna go ahead and take this thing out to a place that's, you know, more uh, scenic, I guess, and a little bit quieter and we'll take a closer look at it. But yeah, there is your first glimpse at the 2019 Scat Pack Charger. All right, you guys, well, here she is. As I said in previous videos, this is the car that I had ordered. It is a 2019 Scat Pack Charger and uh, has quite a bit of options. So we're gonna go over those today, kind of do a quick little review and just show off some of the differences between past Scat Packs and now with the 2019 model. And most noticeably, you might notice that the front end looks a little bit different up there with the new grill. So it's like this dual, air vent snorkel grill thing. Um, I don't really know where they got the inspiration to do this from, but it actually looks pretty cool. And I was kind of iffy on it, looking at it in pictures and stuff like that, but seeing it in person, it actually looks pretty good. Um, something that is also changed is the Scat Pack badge is now, I believe, smaller than it used to be. So not really a big deal, but just something to note. Some of the other options that I picked for this car to have are the HID headlights, which were an upgrade, the Dynamics package, which gets you the black Hellcat wheels, Hellcat brakes, and the upgraded Pirelli 275 with tires on all four corners. It has the blind spot detection package, so you got the blind spot stuff in the mirrors, and then of course it's obviously octane red, as you can clearly see, which looks so good in the sun. I mean, look at the flake in this paint. It's just absolutely unreal. So I gotta say, octane red was definitely a good choice. I'm really happy that I would have picked that color, or would have picked this car. And then coming around to the back, they didn't really change much, although they did put a different little badge there. It's no longer the RT Scat Pack. The Scat Pack actually has its own little trim level now. It's just the Scat Pack. So no longer is this really an RT, which I thought was kind of interesting. Trunk space is massive in these cars. You can fit all kinds of stuff. This one also has the Harman Kardon sound system. So there is a, well, two subwoofers underneath the trunk where the spare tire would usually go. But yeah, that's, uh, that's all of that. And then moving back over here to this side, we got the window sticker. And this is like a big slap in the face, quite honestly, because right up there, it says that it's built with my name on it. And that's just, 
seeing that, it's like, man, this sucks. Jordan's over here laughing at me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, man. Oh, it could have been you. It could have been me, I know. But uh, yeah, we ended up with a Mustang. Woohoo. But uh, yeah, there's all the options, the blind spots, and that's all the stuff that you get along with that. And then the total MSRP came out to 48,570 with a base price of 39,995. And then uh, gas mileage, 18 average. And there's, there's pretty much the whole window sticker on a uh, scat pack. So that's your basic walk around of the exterior. And then moving on to the interior, some other changes that they did for 2019. So we'll go ahead and hop in here. Uh, most noticeably would be on the dash part. I don't know what this is exactly, but they changed the material. It's like almost like a leather, but it's not leather. It's still like hard, um, but the dash is a totally different material. And I did, as you can see, equip it with the suede and leather. And in the past, you used to get kind of like a, uh, it was like almost like a hexagon scat pack honeycomb pattern all over your uh, shift lever and up in this area. But as you can see, that's not there. It's just silver now. So, and then the fake leather dash kind of continues in the door. So the door panels are a little bit different than they used to be. Um, just kind of something to take note of. And then we'll go ahead and start the car up. There used to be a bee that did a little burnout and drove off, but that is no longer here, so that's kind of interesting. So pretty much everything with the infotainment is the same as past scat packs, except they did add a new line lock, which, uh, well, they added a new launch control and line lock to the car, but the launch mode does not work since it's before 500 miles, but I don't know, let's see if I can get there somehow, but there's also a different little screen here. Uh, the base normal settings are, the transmission actually just is standard in eco mode, which I thought was interesting, and the paddle shifters are, uh, as you can see, there's no off button. It's either on or eco, which I thought was kind of interesting. You'd think there'd be an off there. But that is what your performance pages look like there. You also have a valet mode. And then if we could find a way to get to, aha, yes, this is what I was looking for. So this is where your launch control is. So you have a different launch control that is supposedly better than ones in the past. And then a line lock here, which will lock your front brakes so, and then release the rear brakes so you can do a nice smoky burnout before going down the drag strip. And then of course you also have your performance pages, which will show you things such as your zero to 60 time. And actually there's a new dyno graph, which is pretty darn cool. So if you're, you know, actually driving, this will change change the power and torque uh, based on you know what you're doing driving and then of course you have an engine readout that's pretty accurate but if you sit here and just give it a quick rev you can see it's uh, time sensitive and then we have the timers which is 0 to 60 and all that fun stuff and of course your gauges which you can customize to uh, believe however you want them to be and you can put things in different spots and there's actually a gauge number two right there but yeah that's pretty much your quick little overview and uh yeah nothing else has changed as far as i know so just a bunch of small subtle differences definitely an overall awesome car still has the same uh key that dodge has been using for quite a while and then moving on to the engine bay we have the nice good old 392 6.4 liter hemi 485 horsepower and 475 pound-feet of torque definitely a very awesome motor very healthy and uh, I've had one of these before so I know what this thing is fully capable of and I absolutely love this motor and uh, yeah I mean it's just a classic how could you go wrong but nice and stock in here and it's, it's just kind of weird like walking around the car that's like hey you could have owned this but you don't so now that you guys have a pretty general walk around of the car, let's go ahead and hop in and take a ride. For the first time, I have driven a Scat Pack since I sold my 2016 Scat Pack about two years ago. So let's take it for a spin. It's like that that uh, that, that commercial. It's like, oh, you almost had it. Almost had you got to be quicker than that. <laughs> All right, you guys. Well, let's go ahead and fire her up for her maiden voyage. Like I said, first time I've driven a Scat Pack in about two years and uh, it's kind of a weird nostalgic feeling okay so let's go for a little spin i'll give you guys some uh, updated impressions on driving a scat pack charger after driving a lot of different cars since i last drove one of these and also i'll kind of talk to you guys about um some of the reasons why i didn't end up buying this car personally but why it would be a good car for somebody in the market for a nice four-door quick sedan 
All right, you guys, so first impressions on the Scat Pack is that yes, this is a big car. And I never really realized that, never really noticed it when I owned one. I was just kind of like, yeah, this is normal to me. But after having like a Corvette, now a Mustang, you do realize that this is a little bit bigger, but that's not a, a downside to this car. I think that's actually one of its strengths is that this is a big car and you feel like you're in charge of the road, like this is my road. But uh, it's just a really comfortable daily driver cruiser car that you can pretty much do anything you want in. You can throw the kids in the back seat, throw a bunch of stuff in the trunk, and it's just super comfortable. And then of course, Dodge is known for pretty much masking everything with power and you have the beautiful eight speed. I feel like the exhaust is different than what it used to be. And I'm probably making stuff up because I haven't driven one in a while, but it just sounds different than what I remember. But you know, you just can't go wrong with a good old 392 V8 and an eight speed transmission. And like, it's just a perfect combo. And that's, you know, why I bought one in the past and why I was going to buy another one. But uh, I vividly remember, so I've had two chargers in the past. For those who don't know, this was going to be my third one. And I vividly remember telling myself when I owned my second charger, I will never buy the same car twice uh, after doing that once. And here I was gonna do it for a third time. And I was like, you know, maybe I told myself that for good reason. And I've driven a lot of cars. This is my, my Mustang is my eighth car now. So I've been through quite a few of them. You guys give me a lot of crap for that and it's understandable. But that's part of what makes it exciting is that they've all been relatively different aside from the two chargers and the Challenger. Uh, but I've, I've been really familiar with the Dodge stuff, not so much with other brands and other cars. And I just kind of wanted to venture out and try different things out. I still do believe that Dodge has the best daily driver platform. They're the most comfortable, they're the most usable. Uh, but the biggest thing for me was that I'm getting married, wanting to buy a house, and I just wanted something a little bit cheaper. And that was where the Mustang kind of came in. Um, like I said, the MSRP on this one, I don't look, I'm not looking at the window sticker right now, but I think it's around 48 and uh, you know, maybe get a little bit off that. We'll just call it 45 for the sake of the video. So a mid $40,000 $40, car, and then the Mustang that I ended up getting for a little bit over $30,000. I mean, there's a pretty significant difference there. I do think you're getting more car with this car. I'm not gonna argue that, but you can save a lot of money and still have a pretty good time in the Mustang. So that was ultimately what I chose. Looking back, would I you know, have the, rather have this car than the Mustang? I'm kind of enjoying just having a super cheap car payment right now, quite honestly. I think if it was later on in life, I probably would own another Charger, which is what I've stated in the past. I probably will own another Charger, but it will be the next generation Charger just because I've I've owned one of these before. I'm so familiar with it. And I'm just waiting on Dodge to come out with their new model whenever they refresh the body style and do little things here and there to make it actually different. Of course, on this one, they changed the grill and the small stuff here and there. But to me, that wasn't enough to make me be like, ah, I, I really want that. And ever since I placed the order on this car, I was trying to think of different things I could buy. I almost bought a 2019 Ram. It was all blacked out. It looked really cool. And I almost just bought a truck and just said, you know, screw owning cars but didn't buy a truck. Then I saw Mustang prices and I was like, well, that was pretty good. And then it was back and forth on Mustang, Scat Pack, Mustang, Scat Pack, and then finally pulled the trigger on the Mustang. But uh, this this really is a good car. And uh, I mean, how could you not like these things? And if I remember from back in the day, a 40 roll was this car's best roll. Let's see if that's still true. Yep, still true. Wow, these things are quick. You know, that's coming from, I've owned a Hellcat and still these things are enough to put a smile on your face and still throw you back in the seat. And they're a, a heavy car. It's like 4,500 pounds. This is a, a freaking land yacht, but they, they roll out so well. And that's just impressive that Dodge is able to, you know, make this overall package so enjoyable and usable. And that's, that's, that says a lot about a car manufacturer and that's really impressive. Also, a lot of people gave me a lot of crap since I didn't buy a 10 speed Mustang. Honestly, I think the eight speed transmission from ZF, the Dodge eight speed is better than the Ford 10 speed. Don't, don't know why, but I'm just saying this transmission is, is perfect. This is my ideal automatic and I, I couldn't say anything better about it. And then once again, just gonna let the transmission do its own little thing. I mean, man, that sounds so good. Sorry, but Hemi's, Hemi's sound better than, than five liters too. I'll just say it. It's extremely weird to be like sitting here reviewing this car and this originally would have been a car that I would have been like taking delivery of my 2019 Scat Pack Charger and it would have been this car. And it's just weird to like 
see how things change over time and how things end up. And I'm a firm believer and everything happens for a reason. And uh, who knows, maybe Dodge will uh, pull a fast one on all of us and they'll be like, ha ha, for 2020, we're coming out with a new charger. And then I'll be like, ha, woohoo, bingo. But who knows when Dodge will finally pull the trigger on releasing their new Charger and Challenger, maybe 2020, maybe 21, who knows, but I'm very excited for that. But to whoever is in the market for a nice, you know, four door comfortable daily driver, definitely do not sleep on the scat packs. This exact car is for sale right now at AutoNation Dodge Jeep Chrysler Ram in Spring, Texas. Go see my boy sitting next to me, Jordan Kaufman. Tell him RP sent you. Tell him you're in for the RP special. Tell him you want the red lemon parked out front. <laughs> but no, seriously, they will take care of you. There's a bunch of car guys that work here. Jordan owned a boosted Mustang for a long time. The sales manager owned a boosted Corvette. So there are a bunch of car guys and they will definitely take care of you. And it's definitely a badass car. Also, just in case you guys are wondering, I left the bananas in the trunk for you. If you want those things, oh, they're there. But I'm very glad that you guys took those <laughs> off. Thank you. We gotta start a revolution. Take the shipping whatever off. I hate when people leave those things on, but uh, yeah, you also got floor mats back there. But that was pretty much your overview on the 2019 Scat Pack Charger over to my peasant Mustang. And uh, definitely a big size difference between the two of them. And the Mustang's still a pretty big car, but there you go. That is what they look like next to each other from the back. Well, back in the Mustang now, and another reason why I ended up getting a Mustang over a Scat Pack is because of that right there. Scat Packs do not come in manual. Chargers do not come with a manual transmission, but the Mustang, however, does. And I just really enjoy having a manual. I think it's a lot of fun. It just adds that driver involvement. It's just kind of a personal preference thing, but uh, I just really like being able to have a manual and just go out and have fun with that. And uh, it's actually, you know, not uncomfortable in traffic or anything. It's still totally fine. So uh, I really, really like that. And of course, I talked a lot of good things about the Scat Pack, don't get me wrong, but I could sit here and talk a lot of good things about the Mustang as well. I mean, I really do love this car. It's been a great daily, and uh, I mean, I really don't have any true complaints with the Mustang as opposed to getting anything else. It's, it's really been a good car. But I just felt that I needed to clear that up because I know a lot of people are gonna be like, oh, he regrets buying the Mustang and he doesn't like it, this, that, and the other. And that's not true at all. I love this thing. This has been a great car. Um, I mean, just in stock form, it's it's a lot of fun and it really has me thinking that I probably won't do anything to this car. I might just leave it stock and then, you know, buy something else later on, but just having a cheap payment, a somewhat cheap car, and it's just hard to complain. But with all that being said, you guys, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. And once again, thank you to Dollar Shave Club for sponsoring this video. Definitely be sure to check them out. Their products are actually great and I use them all the time. Um, so seriously, I wouldn't be sitting here telling you about a company that I wouldn't you know, fully back. And I've completely backed Dollar Shave Club. They have an awesome company and awesome products. Also, once again, a huge shout out to Auto Nation, Dodge Jeep Chrysler Ram in Spring, Texas. Ask for Jordan Kaufman or Eric Kluna. They will definitely hook you up with whatever you need, whether it's a Ram or a Jeep or a Hellcat, a Scatback, whatever it may be. Definitely talk to them. Tell them RP sent you. They'll take care of you. But as always, you guys, I appreciate you watching this video, and I will see you guys in the next one. Take it easy.